running into another problem. Under the new law, some hospitals like Seattle Children's are being left out of the health care exchange. Fox News correspondent Dan Springer has the details. Critics of Obamacare predicted it would lead to rationing and eventually substandard care. Now, just weeks into the law's implementation, one of the country's top children's hospitals is suing, arguing it's been squeezed out of the exchange and the sickest kids won't get the quality care they need. There becomes a point when if you start denying access to care that you can hurt children and children's health and that's what we believe is at risk here. Five of the seven insurance companies selling plans on the Washington State Health Exchange don't include Seattle Children's as an in-network hospital. It means four-year-old Declan McNulty, who suffers from severe hemophilia, may have to find a new hospital or avoid the exchange. If none of the marketplace plans have Children's as an in-network provider, we simply won't go to them. We'll choose to stay with our current provider, um, paying more than what we could be paying. Primera Blue Cross says it will pay for treatment at Seattle Children's Hospital only when patients can't get comparable care elsewhere. It boils down to money. They cost 60% more than the rest of our hospital network across the state. So there's a substantial cost difference for those non-unique services, and that gets to the question of affordability. You're going to find that their business plan probably needs to be altered in order to really be competitive in the marketplace so that they're offering services at the most reasonable price. But critics of Obamacare argue that with all the mandated benefits, the only way to bend the cost curve is to limit choices and hurt quality. The insurance commissioner and the administration is trying to put top-down pressure on insurers to lower prices, which leads to rationing. Officials here at Seattle's Children's Hospital say their prices are higher because they need the very best doctors, technology, and equipment to be able to treat the sickest kids in the Northwest. If Obamacare cuts into their bottom line, patient care will likely suffer. In Seattle, Dan Springer, Fox News.